Autorama TV presents iPhonography with Nikki Fistero. So let me introduce you to our model Iva. Here we are in a typical scenario in a low light situation in a pub. And the first thing we do is we see Iva, we want to take a picture of him. So we just point our camera at him and we've usually got the auto flash on. So let's focus, let's take the picture. And there we've lit Iva up, let's take a look. Now, Apple's done quite a good job of lighting up in a nice sort of warm, natural way, although it does look a bit overexposed. But the other problem we've got here is red eye. But that's OK, because Apple have also provided a really useful little tool. If we open Iva up in our uh, photo album, and we go to uh, Edit, and then simply click on the red eye icon, and then focus in, all we have to do is tap on each little red eye, and that magically gets rid of our red eye. We tap done when we're done, and that's got rid of it completely. Now that's OK, but how can we improve this photograph and get a much more natural light? Let's move to the window. So we've moved to this fantastic spot by the window. We've got this lovely light coming in. We've got the lovely rustic window. And in the background, we've got the harbour if we wanted to include that in the shop. Now it's low light here, so the ideal thing really is to use a tripod. And I've got my tripods here, and I'm going to show you a couple of ones that are absolutely fantastic. The reason why tripods are really useful is because of low lit situations. In low lit situations, you're much more likely to get camera blur, so it's really handy if you can keep a couple on you. Now these are really tiny and really, really useful. So the first one is the pocket tripod, which is absolutely brilliant. It just fits into your wallet, and you can just swivel it round bring up the sides and then simply put your camera in. It just slides into the slots. You can do it at all different angles and then you can move it into uh, portrait mode and take a shot that way as well. So really easy, fits in your purse, really, really handy, is with you all the time. Now the second one I really like is the eye stabiliser. Now this is fabulous, it will give you a bit more height. It's got the universal screw thread and this simply screws in easily to the top, we set the uh, stabiliser on the table. This is sprung loaded, you simply clip your iPhone into the mount, um, carefully avoiding the shutter buttons on the side. Uh, it goes landscape or swivel it round into portrait mode um, and you're ready to go. Now don't forget, you can also use your earbuds as a remote shutter. Now these will just go into the bottom, just like when you're normally listening to your uh, music and you can use these to activate your shutter. Um, and start taking photos. So that's the uh, tripods which are absolutely fantastic, easy to carry around and that will help you avoid blur in low light situations. But let's get back to framing and take the shot. So I'm going to open Pro Camera because that gives me a lot more control over focus and exposure. So simply by moving the exposure tool around we can get the um, darkness and lightness to just how we want it. We'll move the focus right on the eyes and get his eyes really nice and sharp. And you can see the light coming through that window. It's really helping to light his face and give a really nice mood to this photograph. Let's move the exposure down a little bit by moving it into a light area. And then when we're ready, we'll click on the camera button at the bottom and take that fantastic picture. Now that looks absolutely brilliant. A wonderful, wonderful um, photograph. Much better than in the dark with the flash on. Hi, Nikki Fitzgerald here for Adorama. Be sure to check out Adorama's latest contest to win prizes. So with the kind of photograph we've just taken that's got a lot of contrast in it, this will make a great black and white photograph. So let's change it to black and white and add a bit of nostalgia. Now simply open Snapseed uh, by clicking on the icon Snapseed, then click on the plus button in the top right hand corner, and then choose from your photo library uh, one of the images you want to change to black and white. There we go, that's fantastic. Press use in the top right hand corner and the first thing you want to do is to actually bring attention to the, uh, your subject which is Iva's face and we can do that by using the center focus mode. Now what this does is adds a dark vignette around the outside of the photograph and the next thing we can do is actually change that to black and white simply by clicking on the black and white uh, filter which is there and what we can do is adjust that contrast and this will start to bring a really oldie worldy uh, look about it. Look at that contrast, doesn't that look fabulous? It's really added some punch to the photograph. Click that when you're done. And the final thing we can do is add a bit of a vintage look uh, by choosing the vintage option. 
Now that's really giving it a strong kind of sepia tone. Um, and we can turn that down a bit by clicking on the screen and then swiping up to the style strength. Take that style strength down so we've just got a hint of that sepia. We don't want to over egg it. And then click on the yes on the tick button and then we can save that to camera roll. And then we've got a fantastic, you can see the before and after just by clicking on the screen and tapping off and then click on the top right hand corner to save it to photo library and that's going to make a fantastic print. I think this would look great in this pub actually. Snapseed is a brilliant app, you can use it for uh, Android or iPhone and it's absolutely free and it's great for beginners or more experienced app users. Thank you for joining me today, I hope you've learned to look at light in a new way and you'll start to use it in your photographs every day. Remember candlelight, light coming through a window, on a birthday party, candles are burning um, on a birthday cake has a fantastic resource for light. So just to look around you, find your own ideas, share them with us, leave some comments below and I'll see you next time. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.